Add your social links into your Google Sites. The update is here, so let's have a look at it. Here I am on Google Sites and I want to add in my YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, any social link. I'm gonna show you how to do it on Google Sites and I also link out in the description to a resource where you can find all social media icons that you could possibly need for your website. Now, there's a new update in Google Sites and as you can see, I'm on the homepage of a Google Site that will let you insert your social links. All you have to do is simply go to your Insert tab scroll down and find the social links. This has recently been added into Google Sites. When you open this up, you have the option of adding an image or an icon as well as the link. So let's go ahead and do this. We're going to add in that first image. I'm going to click on upload. I've already prepared three. We've got Facebook. We're also going to add in our Twitter and we will add in our YouTube. Now, as you can see, it automatically resizes these icons. Let's go ahead and put those links in here. Now for Facebook, it's easy. You can find me by simply going to facebook.com slash flipped classroom tutorials. Now, if you're not sure, you can always just copy that, open it in a new tab and test the link. Make sure that it's actually going to the right place. If you're on Facebook, I would appreciate it if you came along for the ride. Now here, we're also going to add in our Twitter, twitter.com slash and then it's my name Sethi de Klerk. Again all links are in that description below. Let's see if we can double check that. Just make sure it's working. I'm going to open that up in a tab. Yeah it's the correct link and then finally we have our YouTube. This is youtube.com slash c slash flipped classroom tutorials and we're just going to check that one more time making sure that all those links are the correct links Yes, it's the correct one. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to subscribe now and maybe you might want to join the channel if you've been here for a while. Now we're going to go back to our Google Sites. There we go. You can see at the bottom we can always add more links in, but for this demonstration, let's stick to the big three and we're going to click on Insert. As you can see, we now have this little area here that we can move around. There we go. We're going to click on Publish. We can see the draft. This is the new and the old. So let's go ahead and publish the changes. And we can now open up our published website. Here at the bottom, you can see we have those three icons. When I click on Facebook, it opens it up in a new tab. So people are not losing the original website. Twitter is working. We can click on that. And our YouTube is also working. So we can now add in social media links. And as you can see, they all work. Now, where do I get these icons from? I want them to be the perfect size. I want them to be crisp, clean, and they also have to match my website. Well, I use the social media icons from the Icon Finder. So I will link to that website as well in that description. But as you can see here, we have lots of icons, all in different styles. And then let's say that I want this Pinterest icon. I can always click on it and then I am presented with a number of options. I can get the 48 pixel, 64, 128, 256 or the one that I've been using, the 512 pixels. You can download them as PNG files, SVG files or have a look at the other file types if you want to do even more with your icons. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel, watch the next video, and I will see you in the next one.